Welcome back. Are you looking for something fun and educational to keep your kids busy? Meteorologist Kristen Kershane explains. Hi everyone, I'm meteorologist Kristen Kershane. Today we're going to do a science experiment that has to do with clouds and precipitation. Here's what you'll need for the experiment. You'll need some type of a see-through container, could be glass or plastic, and you'll want to fill that most of the way up with water. You're also going to need some shaving cream, and you'll need the foam type of shaving cream for this experiment. And you'll need some food coloring. This could be any color that you want it to be. So in this experiment, the water is going to represent the atmosphere. The shaving cream is going to represent clouds, and the food coloring will represent our precipitation. In this case, we'll call it rain. So the first thing that you'll do is shake up your shaving cream a little bit, and you're going to squirt a thin layer on top of the water. And so this is a moment where we can talk about different cloud types. So a thin layer of clouds might be more representative of a stratus type of cloud. But if you add a little bit more shaving cream, this might start to look a little bit more like a cumulus cloud. Then we'll start to add on a little bit of food coloring. So we know within a cloud, we have cloud droplets and rain droplets, but that doesn't necessarily always make it to the ground level. But if we continue to add more food coloring here, we'll start to see that soaking in and we'll start to see rain coming out. So again, this is a good representation of when we get really saturated within that cloud layer, eventually we'll start to see it raining. I hope that you'll enjoy this experiment at home. For TMJ4 News, I'm meteorologist Kristen Kershane.